Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, here's what we wanna talk about today. I wanna talk about area and perimeter today and how they're used. So this is the example we did yesterday. So uh, yesterday's example was talking about uh, the number of square units in an object, that's that's area, okay? So that's, uh, you know, the number of tiles on the ground, uh, that'd, be, uh, that'd be surface area, right? Uh, we can use that for walls, for painting, we can use it for floors, for uh, tile, hardwood, carpet, you name it. Um, we could use it for the drop ceiling, maybe you need to know how many drop ceiling tiles you'll need, that type of thing. Uh, then the other thing we talked about was perimeter. That was the distance around. And the, exa the example I used yesterday was this little splash guard around the bottom of the room. Usually there's like molding on the bottom of the, on the, on the ground. It's not mold, but molding. It's a type of um, finish that you put on the, in a room. It could be floor molding or it could be crown molding, which goes along the ceiling. Um, and so those are the two different types. Now, what I want to talk about today is how you calculate them, like this type of stuff. So we'll do it for kind of a random example here. Let's jump in. Let's do a quick example before we begin. Okay, so um, so let me give you a room here, and I'll let you guys create the dimensions of this room. So give me any two numbers you like. 26. 26 and? And say it again. 50. 50. Okay, so let's go 26 and 50. Okay, so this, this is 26 feet. And the other number is 50 feet. Not during the scale, but you guys get the idea. In fact, I wonder if I can uh, adjust that. Ah, I can. Ah, there we go. Okay. That was a quick, quick way to adjust. Okay. In fact, I'm going to move this up. Let's move this up. We can put the numbers on the inside. I'll move it like that. Okay. So here's my two numbers. So now, if we do area. Area is the number of square tiles on the inside. So say it again. 1,300. 1,300. So you're taking the 26 times 50. That should be 1,300 little tiles on the inside. Again, how you're calculating that, you just take the 26 times 50. So, now, um, the label, how you label this. There's two different labels. I want you to be aware of this before you get into like when we're going to do some research today. Um, the label is usually in squares, so it's square objects, square units in the object. In my case, it's square feet. So it's how many little square tiles are on the floor, kind of like in this room, that's square feet. Um, now there's another way they can label that, just so you're aware of it, they could write it like this, 1300, and then they could put feet squared like that. It's the same label. Um, but again, that's how many little tiles are on the floor, if it's 26 feet by 50 feet, and they're one foot tiles, kind of like what I have in this room. Okay, we use that for area, um, that's, uh, that's the number that we're using here. So if you're not aware of what we're finding, we're finding area. Um, that helps us again with flooring, you know, some type of flooring. It helps with the paints on the walls, all that good stuff. So questions on area, how we do it. We're gonna use this number today and this will be a part of our research and I'll give uh, each person a specific thing I want you to go find, okay? Um, so, um, and you'll have to do a little bit of research. So everyone will have a unique thing to go find and you can use a certain website and I'll give you three options for the website here in a little bit. Okay, all right, uh, let's do another one here. So I'm gonna do one more. Uh, do we wanna use the same dimensions or we wanna use different dimensions for this next example? Different, okay. Uh, give me any two numbers we want. 17. 17 and? 35. 17 feet and 35 feet. All right, so now on this one, instead of doing area, you know, because area would just be 17 times 35, um, we're gonna find the, the perimeter of this one. So the perimeter of this object. Okay, so perimeter is the distance around an object. It's not the number of square tiles, it's the distance around. So in my case, it's going 17 by 35 by 17 by 35, and which is? 104, 35 plus 17 plus 35 plus 17. Again, these numbers just transfer around the picture and your label, and you said 104? Okay. Uh, when the label on this will just be whatever your distance is. So in my case, it's gonna be in feet. So 104 feet. There's no other weird label on it. Uh, distance around an object is just whatever that number is. So again, um, you just add up the, the two numbers together and you get whatever you need to. Okay, questions with this. Now, this is um, what we use perimeter for. Um, it's the molding around the ground. Um, it could be, you know, trim, some type of wood. It could be a, a splash guard or a little rubber guard. It could be, you know, a, a metal trim. You know, in certain, like, construction buildings, they might use some type of um, uh, metal gusset or something like that around the trim. Um, so, 
Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the idea. That's what we're using these two objects for. Um, questions at all about uh, the two objects we're calculating today? Okay, now we're going to use this for a reason. I'm going to come back to this here in a minute. Um, so the example I'd like to talk about today is this. We're going to be finding the cost of certain objects for a room. So I've created a room on this particular problem. I created a 20 by 16 room. Okay. And what we're going to do is each of you in here, we have five of you in here, are going to have to find the cost of a certain object on this list. Now, I have, I have a couple online, so you guys are just going to be able to just kind of watch. If you want something, I'll assign something to you. Um, but um, so, for instance, um, I'm going to assign a, a graph. I'm going to assign you to go find some carpet. Okay. Any website you want, you have three options, Lowe's, Menards, or Home Depot. Go find a carpet, and when you find your carpet, whatever style you want, whatever color, whatever price you want, um, it's got to be by square foot, okay? So not square yards. You might have to switch a website, okay? Got it? Go find a carpet. Go pick one out. Go Google it up, okay? Hardwood. You want hardwood floors? Go find a hardwood. You can use any of these three. Can I use my phone? That's fine. Uh, you can even borrow one if you need one. Okay, yep. Um, who wants tile? Boom. Okay, Billy, go find some tile. Remember, by square foot. That's what I want. So square foot tiles, okay? Uh, who would like painting or molding? This is Maui. Okay, paint, go find paint, any paint you want, any color you want, it could be ugly, it could be hideous, I don't care, but I wanna know the cost and what it covers. So you might have to go in like the specific details to know if it covers like 200 square feet or 300 square feet. What would you, like, wait, so. It'll be in the. Like, what would you like, like me to add? Don't care. Okay. Any type of paint you want. Normal paint, not like, uh, not primer, not, just pick a color of paint. Okay. And then, obviously, Anthony, you're finding some type of molding. So you're going to go go on either Lowe's, Menards, or Home Depot, find a molding. Now, I need to know the cost and what the planks are in terms of feet. Is this a real okay. cost question? No, this is not. This is just a little bit of research we're going to do for about the next 10 minutes. Okay, go find it. When you find yours, you're going to tell me the price. Now, for those online, um, you guys can just stick around for the ride here um, until we get um, until we get all these objects. So... Um, if you want to go like research something on your own, you can do that right now, but you're just kind of waiting for me to get some prices here. So, okay, so um, so if you find it, let me know, raise your hand. I want to know instantly what you've found. But remember, I'm asking for specific details, so don't just close the browser right away. Keep it open, okay? And we have to do some serious calculations for these. Nope, price is no object in this case. Around okay, so, okay, so carpet. Um, what was the cost of your carpet per square foot? 0. 0.68. 0. 0.68. Okay, so we found carpet pricing <coughs> is 0. 0.68, so 68 cents per square foot. That's cheap. Mm -hmm. Per square foot. Okay, if you want to um, send me a link to that, you know, you know, send me an email with that link. You know, just copy that link and send an email to me real quick. Um, yeah, it's pretty cheap carpet. It's actually really cheap carpet. So we'll take a look at it. I'll pop it up here in a minute. Um, anyone else you can be in any order. Um, just give me some prices. We're going to use this. And we're not doing any carpet pads or anything like that. I think usually installation is free. You, you buy Maybe it. Maybe like a 20 square foot case and then you can just like get multiples of that. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. So yeah, that's fine. You just tell me what the price is and what it covers. And that's all I really need to know. Okay, you got paint? Yeah. Okay, so now the big thing about your paint is go in the details. Does it tell you what it covers per square foot? Um, so go in the details. If it doesn't, you have to go pick a different paint. That's the hardest part about the paint. Yeah, um, it covers uh, like 500 square feet. Okay, good. 500 square feet, square foot of coverage, and? Per gallon. Yep, per gallon. Yep, that's fine. And then what else, like? What's the price? Oh, um, 33. 33. Thirty-three dollars even, and is that like no, per no, thirty-three forty-five? Thirty-three forty-five, and is that per gallon or is that a five-gallon pail? What is that? Uh, one gallon. One gallon. Okay, one gallon. All right, thank you. And I'll have flooring. Okay, flooring. What do we got for hardwood? Four dollars and twenty-nine square foot. Four dollars and twenty-nine. Yep. Per square foot. Yeah, you can then buy a box for ninety-four thirty-eight and covers twenty-two square foot. Okay, uh, so say it again. What was those last numbers? You can, you can buy a box of it that covers twenty-two square foot. It's ninety-four thirty-eight. 
Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. Do we find tile? Like 436 per square foot. 436 per square foot. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anthony, you got any molding for me? Any type? Floor molding? It, they'll probably come in like weird planks. It'll say like $13 for like eight feet planks or something like that. I'll say it in the, it'll say it in the label when you pick your molding. Uh, mounding? I don't know what that is. I typed that wrong. It's molding, not mounding. I know, I said that earlier, but... Oh, sorry, I didn't even hear you. Molding. That's a weird... I don't know what I just did there. Okay, yeah. All right. If you find it, let me know. Also, they had to do like a dealership, like under the, because he does flooring, and mm -hmm. he has his own, his own company and stuff. They do flooring. Like, so the flooring was like a certain style with like three different shades in it, so they had to place it just right. Okay. To make a, like their letters or something. And then he was like, it took forever, and he's like, I ain't never doing that again. Yeah. Because it took him like a had month to, and a half to do. Had to line it up and everything. Yeah, that's. It took yeah. him like a month and a half to do. So he had like two or three people on that job just trying to get. Yikes. Lined up. Yeah, and, it and you have to stretch it. And, oh, yeah, that's, I can only imagine how hard that had to be. Like, yep, I ain't never yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Anthony, when you find it, let me know. I need price. Uh, I have the spelling and molding up here, just so you know it. You can just type it in the search bar, too, and sometimes they just pop up in the search, whatever website. I'm pretty sure Lowe's has some pretty good ones, so pretty sure. Now, when you find yours, uh, send me a link to it. So email me the link. You know, Just copy, paste the link into an email and send it to me. That way I can click on it and everyone can see it up here. I'll try to pull up a picture of it. So we can see kind of the gross color you picked or whatever kind of design you've chose. Is our room's gonna get a little weird looking. Did you, um, did you put it in, um, okay, yeah. It just updated, so I thought, like, I didn't see the, like, assignment on there. Oh, yeah, the Google, oh, the Google question of the day? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're not doing that yet. We're not doing that yet. This is different than that question. So we, we haven't got to the Google question of the day yet. So don't so do that yet. Would I submit that? You're just sending. You're just saying that uh, length that you did for your paint. Just email it to me directly. Email. email. Yep. Okay. I already got graphs carpet here. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up here in a second. I'll put it up on the marker board. Yeah. Just send me a link. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Send me a link. All right. I take it you just had the mohawk carpet, the fast pitch carpet. Is that what you picked? Yeah. All right, so okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a copy of the carpet that we have chosen for this particular activity. So here we go. Here's the carpet that was that was chosen. Uh, kind of normal brown carpet, nothing fancy. Sixty-eight cents per square foot. Sandy so, beach. Yeah, kind of a brown color. It's indoor, so it's textured. Uh, this um, this doesn't include carpet padding or anything like that. It's something you put underneath your carpet to give a little bit of life to it. So it's not just a hard you know, cement or wood flooring. Um, it's kind of nice. It helps insulate the room a little bit from the floor. Um, smart idea to put that in, especially if you have really thin carpet. It's kind of nice to have a carpet pad underneath it. If you have really thick carpet, sometimes you don't need to. But it does help, and it helps protect your flooring in case of spills and whatnot. So smart idea. Um, all right, uh, we'll keep going here. So that's the first one here. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? We got any other emails? Oh yeah, we do. Okay, uh, Mr. Hines found one here. We got some uh, we got some molding here. Do not allow the track. Okay. Ooh, this is expensive stuff. Okay. Wow. Who? You did not cheap on this one. Okay. Molding. Um, the molding is eighteen dollars and fifty seven cents per. Um, 96 inches divided by 12, eight foot planks. So let me go back. Um, I'll pull this up here in a second. So $18.57 for the molding, the floor molding. It's good looking stuff. Um, but uh, per eight feet, it's going to cost us $18. 
And again, when you get the stuff, you just literally just nail it. The hardest part about putting in molding is just getting the, the angles of 45's cuts in the corner so that it's nice and flush. Um, and then filling it in with, you know, some, some type of uh, filler, and, um, some epoxy or some type of um, uh, grout, um, you know, uh, whatever you have it, um, caulk, so that you can, uh, so that you uh, don't have any weird gaps and other things. So that does take a while. The prep work takes a while because you have to paint it after the fact too. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of work to install molding. Um, Especially if you're thinking about changing the color of it. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, let me uh, bring up uh, the picture of this one. So here it is. So the molding that we picked is from uh, Home Depot, in fact. Home Depot. Here you go. There it is. That's all molding is. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy stuff. You just nail it to the wall. That's what it looks like. It's $18.57. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, let's go to the next one. Uh, Miss Benson, she got some uh, some tile. If we're gonna choose oh, tile, hardwood floors. Oh, hardwood floors, hardwood floors. Let's see what these look. Like. Oh, actually, these are pretty. These are not even bad we're at all. Oh, all right. So, yeah. yeah, these. This is actually pretty stuff. My, my, my. You can't see the color here. My projector can't do it. Yeah, it's like a gray show. It's really Maybe, pretty. Um, if we turn off the front light, yeah, you, you want to hit the lights there, Miss Eastman? Hit them, hit them both. Yeah. Yep. It's actually really pretty wow. stuff. I like that. That's actually really good looking stuff. In fact, I actually might keep this link because I need to do some hardwood floors in a, in a loft that I'm using. You might have sold me on this one. All right. Um, I got to see what the cost. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad, actually. It looks really good in that picture. Yeah, that looks good. Might have sold me on that one, Miss Benson. You might have sold me. All right. Yeah, it might be one expensive day because I still got to buy a freezer. All right. Oh man, you guys are doing some home improvements. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get them by Hitler. Uh, uh, I still gotta get that. I, I, I almost want to kind of buy at the end of the week, but yet? not yet. I haven't even ordered it yet. Oh. So I'm gonna go with the one you guys have kind of recommended because it was a good price and it was huge. All right. Uh, so the paint uh, you picked, you picked like the most generic paint I've ever seen in my life. It's barn paint. It's a uh, siding, fencing. Uh, <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> uh, we're going with it. <laughs> it's gonna cost quite a bit. <laughs> uh, we're going with it. <laughs> we're going with it. Uh, it still makes me laugh. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Billy, did you get me an email of your? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're going with it, buddy. I like it. All right. <laughs> uh, let's let's go with some of this stuff. All right. We're going to talk about each of these prices kind of one at a time. What we're going to go. That's going to make me laugh oh all God day. It's going to make me laugh. Oh my Yeah. It's. I like it. It's funny. Is that some stuff in your carpet, Sean? Yeah, I'm not going to use that stuff to pay. All right. Let's, let's talk about the carpet for a Sorry. All right. Um, if we're going to install a carpet, I think even, I think, uh, I think, uh, I, can't even, I can't even focus. I'm going to be loud about this all day. All right. Mr. Graff, you found some carpet for my room. Um, we have to find the, we have to find the, the actual size of the floor. Uh, so, uh, to find the area of the floor, we're taking the 20 by 16. Uh, so 20 by 16 on the room, and you actually even said it. Um, the, t the room is 20 by 16. So if we multiply these two numbers together, we're getting 320 square feet. Okay. Um, so that's, that's how many square foot my little... Ooh, I don't even have that popping up here. Sorry. Apologies, guys. Um, so here's my little room, right? We're going back to that dimension. My room was 20 by 16. Again, this was an example. It's not the Google question of the day. Your Google question of the day, um, you'll get here in a minute. I'm going to give you about 10, 10 minutes to kind of work on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, yeah, super easy. So here's my room, right? This is my, this is my room. It's 320 square feet. It's not a very big room. It's kind of like a bedroom or maybe a living room. And the idea is that the, the cost per square foot is 68 cents. So all you have to do is take your, the size of your room and take it times the cost of what the carpet would cost. So in my case, a 320 square foot room, I just take that 320 by my 68 cents. And this will tell me the cost of buying the carpet. Now, you're not gonna buy exactly the right size for the carpet. That's just a little word, you know, to the wise. When you're actually purchasing carpet, you do have to buy extra. 
they have to stretch it. Um, you know, if the, if the room is an odd dimension, because the carpet comes in like a big roll, you do have to buy extra. Um, so sometimes you have to buy like multiple rolls because they can't they can't make it to the perfect size of your room. So they'll have to like uh, splice it together. And that's what Mr. Graff was talking about earlier. The particular company he was talking about had to like get the lettering right on the floor and you have to like piece it together and it has to look good. So if you have a weird design on the floor, you can't just throw it down randomly. You have to get it to match up. So the colors you flow. Like four different shades. Yeah. Four or five different shades of blue. Yep. And it, it's super difficult if you've ever seen it being done. Um, so if I take, I'm just going to do the minimum here. So three hundred twenty dollar or three hundred twenty square feet times sixty eight cents. Um, it was two hundred seventeen dollars for this particular carpet. So two hundred seventeen dollars and sixty cents. Not bad. That's pretty cheap. Okay, um, uh, I think an example we did last year, somebody picked out carpet that cost like $4 a square foot. Um, this room alone was like, I think several thousand dollars um, in, in that regard for the carpet. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't install that type of carpet, sorry. Why wouldn't you just go with a little bit cheaper just in case? Exactly, you're gonna spill, you're gonna have to replace every couple of years anyways, or you no. Know. Or you can just cut it out and just yep. get a small Okay, now hardwood. Um, same exact idea. It's four twenty nine per square foot. Um, now they do sell it in boxes, so the boxes do cover twenty two square feet. So you could get away with it a little bit. Um, in fact, I'm going to compare both prices with what Miss Benson picked here, so just we can see this. So Miss Benson picked four twenty nine. Uh, so if I take my three twenty times my four dollars and twenty nine cents, um, it's going to cost for the hardwood. Thirteen hundred and seventy-two dollars and eighty cents for the hardwood. That's if I just took the the, the amount I needed times the four twenty-nine. I needed three hundred twenty square feet. Now, if I did it per box, three hundred twenty divided by twenty-two, I would need fourteen or fifteen boxes of this stuff uh, because twenty-two square feet isn't very much when I have a three hundred twenty square foot home uh, square foot room. I'll need about fifteen of those boxes to cover it, and 15 times 94, 35 is 1400 bucks. So it's it's really close. Um, this number you're seeing here, this 1372, is if I got exactly 320 out of that box. I needed to buy 15, so it was about 1400 bucks. $1,415 if I went with the box route. So that's pretty expensive. That's, that's actually pretty normal. Um, I don't know what the dimensions are for the room that I have to do hardwood, so that actually could be really close. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually look at that. Um, I have to look at that link too. Um, all right, let's do the tile, and I think uh, Billy, you were on tile, right? Yeah. All right, you did send me a link. Let me go back to it. Okay, here's the link for the uh, mm. for the tile. Actually, really good looking tile. Um, ceramic tile, really good looking stuff. Um, so there it is. Um, it it covers 6.03 square feet per case, and the um, so it, they actually even gave me a cost even perfect. They gave me 436 per square feet. Um, so if I if I took my 320 square foot room times the 436, um, it's 13. This is gonna be so if I multiplied by the the 320, it's gonna be 13, 95, 20. That's almost two grand. Yep. Um, yeah, almost fifteen hundred bucks, and that's just going off the price per square foot. Now, obviously, I have to buy boxes of this stuff, cases of it. So I have to take my three twenty divided by what a box can cover. It can cover six point oh three. I have to buy fifty three boxes, fifty four boxes of this stuff, times twenty six thirty two. So yeah, it's th about fourteen hundred bucks. So quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit of stuff. Um, paint. Now, before I get to the paint, paint are the walls, right? We're not painting the floor. So, what I didn't tell you here is if we're going to paint this room, right? This room, you have to worry about what, how tall the walls are. There's four walls you have to paint in this room. So, one of the room is one of the walls are 20 by however tall the wall is. The other wall is 16 by however tall the wall is. So. Um, the paint we're going to come back to tomorrow. We're going to come back to this paint tomorrow. I'm going to use this number, so don't feel like I'm going away from it. I'm going to use the number you found. Because um, um, your number, your $33, was not off by much. 
Okay. Yeah, I actually changed it. Like, I actually, like, sent you another link. Oh, I okay. to kind of, like, redeem myself. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going with the barn paint, buddy. We're doing it. All right. So, uh, we'll, we'll come back to the paint tomorrow. That's something I want to look at tomorrow. Now, the molding. This is the one that uh, uh, Mr. Hines found. The 1857. Um, per eight feet, right? Um, now, this room is 20 by 16 by 20 by 16. So, I have to divide by 8, so 20 plus 20 plus 16 plus 16. So if I clear this out, 16 plus 16 plus 20 plus 20, because I have to add up the, the molding, the distance around. So um, I need 72 feet, 72 feet of uh, molding, right? If I divide that by 8, I'll need 9 planks, because the planks he's selling that he found came in 8-foot bands. So if I divide by the 8, I need nine of them, nine, um, nine planks of this stuff. So nine planks times 1815, uh, 1857 times nine, $167 worth. And that's just the floor molding. If I went with crown, I'd probably double it. Oh, oh, wow, wow. There you go. Um, so that's so I went I took my 72 that was the distance around the room it was 20 by 16 by 20 by 16 and you divide by 8 and and you get to your uh, you get to your nine planks you need to purchase okay you have a Google question of the day it is based on flooring carpet you have to figure out the dimensions of the room and multiply by the cost for the carpet I think it's carpet right so I pick. okay carpet okay figure out the cost submit it to me it's due by tomorrow okay got it we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to look at painting. That's kind of our question of the day tomorrow. We will have another question of the day tomorrow based on paint. So, and I'll give you another cost. So, all right, but that's it for today. Your sons drawings. Yeah, you'll love them.